Welcome back, Niashi students, to our Abinujiak Gardens. Greg is up here and we are going to talk about planting today. As you can see, I am got a lot of garden repairs. Good old Scott been working hard. And a lot of the, the dirt and the pea gravel for the repairs were donated by the Bands Ship Grant, which is State Health Improvement Program. And um, they are into school gardens and stuff, so they gave us money for that. But today we, like I said, I'm going to plant. I already brought up some of our tomatoes that we started and I am going to plant some seeds directly into the ground. The reason we plant some seeds outside directly into the ground rather than starting them inside is because of the time it takes that plant to mature to produce its fruit. Tomatoes take a long growing season in order to Minnesota doesn't have that long of time, so we have to start them indoors, like our peppers and our broccolis and cauliflowers and those kind of plants. But there are a lot of vegetables that we can start directly into the ground, which is called direct sow, and they will produce before the end of the summer. Green beans is one of them. And today we've got these gourmet blend beans. There's yellow, purple, and green all in one package. So then when we grow them and we'll see what they become, we'll pick them. And if you're here, when we do the purple beans, you'll be in for a surprise. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna do some carrots. And then hopefully we'll get some of our plants up here and, and put them in the ground yet too, because they are really wanting their permanent homes. And if, if Greg will zoom around, you'll see the flowering crabs around here, all these beautiful blossoms, and they smell so good. And they are being filled with bees. Bees love these flowers. They get nectar from them. And they are very important in pollinating our plants. Once our plants bloom like these trees are, when they get their flowers, the bees will be very important, very instrumental in fertilizing, if you want to call it, those blossoms, carrying one pollen from one plant to another plant and that is what produces the fruit on your plant. I keep saying fruits and these are vegetables. Why am I saying fruits? That's because it's the product of the of the plant is considered the fruit. What, what if we didn't have the bees? Then you would not get the fruit Mm. So, so no bees, no food? Basically, yes. Oh, boy. Bees are very, very important to our environment, to sustaining our plant food. And without plant food, we wouldn't have animal food because the animals eat the plants to, to grow and provide us with their meat. So, so be, sounds like bees are kind of like the most important part of that whole chain. They could very well be, yes. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay, so we'll come back and look at some uh, uh, seed planting in a minute. Oh, yep. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Yep. Hardware store. 
and I just ran up twine line so I could get a straight line. I took my hoe and I made this shallow, shallow trough, if you want to call it that, in the dirt. And I spaced them out so that they won't be too bunched and it'll be easy to uh, weed in between them. So now we're going to plant these seeds. And so we got brown and white seeds and we got some speckled seeds. Wonder what will turn out? What will the white seeds become? What will the brown seeds come? And what are the speckled seeds? Yellow, green, or purple? So now we're going to place them in our trough about an inch apart from each other very carefully. And when we get those all planted, we will cover them lightly with the dirt, with the soil. And then we don't want to pat it down real hard. Oops, excuse me. I will 